So I've been I've been painting uh, and drawing since I can remember. You know, there are pictures of me drawing hamburgers and hot dogs when I was a little kid and pumpkins and things. Um, I I, uh, I actually went to I was in the U.S. Army for uh, five years. I was a combat veteran and I served as a chaplain assistant for an air assault infantry unit in. Ramadi in 2004 and 2005 and during that time uh, you know there were no Christmas cards so we would we would draw caricatures of the guys so that they could send them home um, and and I got to paint over a lot of uh, different things and use my talents in the army uh, while I was a chaplain assistant to, to support my job. So the the ministry staff and there was a, a, a committee of, of folks who, who asked uh, it, or talked to me about um, this idea of uh, love Jesus, serve others, be different. And, and then how do you visually communicate that? One, to a, 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 a demographic that's younger uh, because it's on the powerhouse uh, uh, facility. And then, and then the other is, is how do you make this timeless and interesting and, and also tell the message, you know? And, and we wanted to create something that was beautiful um, and then and if you look at the mural and, and you have any background in art history, it leans heavily on the American regionalists. Uh, so Thomas Hart Benton, Alexander Hogue, uh, John Stuart Curry, those folks. And, um, and so I wanted to make the overall feeling uh, stylistically very much within the style of the American regionalist. Um, you know, uh, love Jesus, serve others, be different means different things to different people. We're, Christians are not robots. You know, they're, they have... Uh, their own talents and their own uh, things that God gave them, the things that they uh, that were put on their hearts. This being able to paint <laughs> is something a gift God gave me, and so to me it was a, a real cool opportunity to kind of flex uh, uh, that ability and, and 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 give it give it back a little bit. So so the idea was, um, you know, we're called to be salt and light to the world, and so if you look at if you look at the center part of the mural. What you see is a big salt shaker with a light bulb in the middle, which is, you know, a little strange, a little interesting. Uh, but 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 that the light source kind of radiates outwardly, and I think that's what the church is called to be. You know, something that uh, the church is one of the only organizations in the world where it exists for the people who are not in it. You know, and so so if you look at the salt, the salt kind of falls down and it pans. Uh, pans to the left and what you'll see is the salt kind of mixes uh, with the sower seed and so there's a planting phase and that's the parable of the sowers. The center figure is Christ and if again leaning a little bit on the visual of, of art history you kind of see that John Stuart Curry tragic prelude where on one side um, you know Christ is holding let me, the bread and the fish and so you have that but he's the he's the figure uh, holding that up and the worshipers are the the unchurched let's say they're the unbelievers the pe the people who um, who look to Christ for for uh, for sanctification for reconciliation for salvation you know so I have done uh, a lot of murals um, uh, and and they're all they're all special in a way but this one is really one where I get to demonstrate my faith I get to interpret what 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 it actually means to love God, serve others, and be different? How that's how that's uh, how that has mattered to me in my life, and uh, and so in a lot of ways, even though we're leaning on, uh, you know, even though we're leaning on biblical principles here, a lot of this like, what does it mean to be a warrior and 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 love Christ? What does it mean to be a harvester and love Christ? You know, what does it mean to be a um, an artist and, and, and love Christ? What does it mean to be in this world and feel like a stranger to it in a lot of ways, but, but also try to be that salt and light to the world in a way that's authentic and genuine. And so in a way, this was a, a, a great opportunity for me to contribute my gifts um, to the body. So the, the, the process starts uh, with a sketch phase. And in this, in this instance, I was, you know, the committee really challenged me to to lean in a little bit harder than I think my original ideas were, which was in extremely encouraging. So, so, so we, we go through these drawings and these, these pencil sketches, and then, uh, and then the process goes, all right, so we do these pencil sketches, uh, it gets approved, I come out in the dark of the night and I convert my pencil sketch into a line drawing. 
Uh, from that point, uh, I shoot a projection up from a couple hundred feet away uh, and shoot a projection up uh, in the middle of the night. And that's always a fun and interesting time. <laughs> and, then, um, and then we start blocking in the color. Uh, and then we add spray paint to kind of to, to add kind of some body and volume and then I come back with a, a, Just a half inch brush maybe a little smaller than that and, and paint in the lines by hand And so it's a it's a kind of a growing process But you get the rough in and you actually start dark You know all of your your colors you start with dark colors and you bring and then you bring in the light which is I think a really other cool thing that, that happens in painting naturally, but it's also a kind of a cool message. You, you start from the dark and then you go towards the light, you know, so that's kind of nice. As you look at the mural and experience it, um, I, want, I want people to, to be able to look at something and say, well, that resonates with me. The, the, the image of the woman uh, looking up at Christ, uh, maybe she's gone through some things and been exposed to, to, to a hard existence and, uh, and that might resonate with somebody. The, the joke of the sign might resonate. You know, the, the conquering lion part might resonate. Um, the idea of the train might resonate. You know, there's all of these different areas to approach this message uh, that, that, I hope, that I hope have a, a lasting effect and that you can be a gateway, it can be a gateway into, um, into having a fuller understanding of, of what this thing is all about. Um, this, this thing has kind of, you know, there's a saying that says the artist is nothing without the gift, but the gift is nothing without the work. And, and I was fortunate to, to be blessed with the ability, but it's, it's a lot of work to develop it as well. So, so I'm grateful.